So, in today's fourth upload is what I like and dislike about all the episodes of Doctor Who Part 15. <clears throat> now, um, don't know why all of a sudden we're feeling a bit sick. It was around, uh, just before I filmed the Minecraft world. I'm increasingly getting worse, I don't know what's wrong with me. But, the 141st, uh, story it was. Time Lash. Now this was okay for Colin Baker. It was good, but in Doctor Who terms, it was okay. The graphics weren't that good, or special effects, and the acting wasn't too good. But it was an okay story. Hundred and forty second was Resolu Resolution of the Darks. I think now this was actually good because I do like dialogue stories, but it's not one of the better ones. Some of the acting wasn't good, and the story wasn't really that good. So, um, 143 to 143D, and this is basically four stories named um, into one story-ish, called the, Ty the Trial of the Time Lord. Now it's going to do this as uh, just one story, because it technically is one story, but technically it's four. This is actually a really good story for Colin Baker. It's how most of the episodes now are done, so if you want to watch... A classic episode, but in the format of today's episodes, watch Trial of Time Lord. Because these are about three quarters an hour long, I think. Three quarters an hour long. And it was a really good story. Some of the acting wasn't as good later on, but it was a good story for me. So, 144th was the time of the Rainer. Personally, haven't watched this at all, so I can't say anything about it. 145th was Par. I think it's Paradise Towers. This was okay. The acting wasn't as good, but yeah, Sylvester McCoy was okay. He was still getting into the role of the Doctor, and you can tell he is. So yeah, it was an okay story. Hundred and forty-six is Delta and the Ban. That's it, Ban Banerman. Now I haven't actually watched this at all. Haven't personally watched this, so can't say anything. 147 was Dragonfire. Now this was okay, I was it sad because Mel Bush was leaving, but Ace, who was younger than Mel, joined. Uh, the acting was okay, it's a bit off on some bits. But yeah, Sylvester McCoy is alright, in the story and acting wise. 148 was Remembrance of the Daleks. Now this was a really good story, obviously you can see it was the first one where the Daleks could fly or hover. So yeah, that was a big plus for me. And some of the graphics like that is not as good, but it's typical 80s Doctor Who. 149 was the Happiness Parade, uh, Patrol, let's say Parade the Patrol. This was not a good story at all. The acting wasn't good, the storyline wasn't good, and basically the villain wasn't good. Sort of thing, I wouldn't advise you to watch it. You can watch it if you want, but it's not a good story. And 150th story was The Silver Nemes, or Nem Nemes. Now it's a Cyberman story, which I really like Cybermen, as you may know. And this was a really good story. Some of the acting was off, and the story... Eh, it was okay. Been better if um, been better if the acting was good or the storyline was better. But it's an okay story. So as always, all information correct as of the tenth of July or when I'm recording. Uh, this is what time I'm recording. And according to my watch, and I am sat up again. And as always, link in the description to the normal things. And as always, thanks for watching and goodbye.